Okay, so we've just finished doing our development on the 2021 Chevy Silverado. We're absolutely wrapped with how it's come up. We've used the Uni-X ECU to tune it. Basically, this, as with all Uni-X applications, we take control of the engine tune parameters, speak directly to the sensors on the engine. It gives us the ability to live tune the vehicle on the dyno. To give you an idea on some results, which are on a graph in front of me, it made 230 rear wheel kilowatts standard. The after power is 263.1, so it's a really impressive gain. The big thing to note about that is it's not just the 30 kilowatts it's picked up in the top end, it's the 50 kilowatts it's picked up at 4,000 RPM, right in that drive zone, right where you're going to want the power when you're towing and overtaking and things like that. As far as the torque goes, standard torque peaked at about 400 newton meters. It now peaks at 500 newton meters. But again, it's at that 4,000 RPM mark where we see a big jump of about 130 newton meters, 140 newton meters. Um, again, right in that power zone where you really need the power and the torque. Okay, one thing I want to highlight is the way that this Silverado has been tuned. Uh, plenty of people have told us that the only way to tune these Silverados is through the ECU and send it away. This is not the case with the Uni-X. The Uni-X, as I mentioned, talks directly to the sensors on the engine, takes control of the engine tune parameters, and the factory ECU does not need to go anywhere. So I've taken this for a lot of drives throughout the entire R&D process. I drove a lot standard, I drove a lot midway through, and then obviously a lot when it was finished being tuned. I was very surprised with how well it went standard. Uh, I expected great results using the Uni-X to tune it up and I was not disappointed. Under throttle, it's super sharp. It pulls right through the rev range. I can really understand why these utes have a lot of appeal. So as with all applications fitted with the Uni-Chip, the five map select is always an option. In this case, we've used that to create a 98, 95 and 91 octane map. We know that 98 octane fuel isn't always readily available in Central Australia, which is why this is really beneficial. This vehicle has since been up through the desert into Queensland, towing this caravan and back down into Victoria, and the owner has reported a really substantial increase in fuel economy, as well as having that extra power and torque on demand when he's needed it. 